All right, welcome back. Um, so I've created or completed building the, uh, I guess this is the y axis I told you earlier that um, they shorted me one of the threaded rods. Well, I am impatient. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so I went to the hardware store. I picked up uh, a piece of threaded rod. This is 5 sixteenths because good luck trying to find metric threaded rod at the hardware store. I went to uh, Home Depot. I like them better than Lowe's. They've been good to me and my family, so kudos to them. They get my business. Um, two, you have to buy a two-foot length of, they call it all thread or threaded rod. Five sixteenths is the uh, what I got here, and this is coarse thread. And don't forget to pick up a package of um, five sixteenths nuts. Oops, lost one. You don't need, you need six. If you were shorted one piece of threaded rod in your kit, you need it and six five sixteenths coarse threaded nuts. Don't worry, you've already got enough washers. They probably didn't short you on those. Um, and this won't be stainless steel. I think the what comes in stainless steel is going to be too big. If they do, great. They don't, no big deal. I do hope to get a new one, new piece from uh, Folger Tech or uh, at least have them refund me the cost of some of this. So six nuts and the uh, the all thread. While I was there, I also picked up the uh, screws so I can mount my power supply. And I was also shorted a couple of M3 by 16 millimeter uh, screws. They happen to have those there. Those are metric. Power supply is metric. Five eighths clearly a standard. So I have a little bit of lopsided, uh, <laughs> I say lopsided, um, but my, my printer isn't quite as classy anymore because I do have this one standard thread that's not stainless compared to everything else, no big deal. Uh, building this is pretty straightforward compared to the video. I will say and throw this out now since the guy messed up on the video, slide your linear bearings on your all thread before you totally put it together, otherwise you're going to take it off put those on after the fact and then put it back on. Um, again, not a big deal, just it's better if you keep those on in advance. Um, I don't think there's a direction that matters for the front belt bearing. It does have a profile that is somewhat directional. It's got rounded corners that I have on the bottom edge and it's kind of sharp or flat corners on the top. I just opted to point it that direction. I don't think it matters. What I do think matters, though, that isn't specified in the video, is the motor mount in the rear. Let's see if I can pull up a motor. Here we go. This would make some sense. It's got an interesting profile. I hope you can see that. I put this little nub pointing up, and I think that that is required because if you look at this, if it was pointing down, I think the motor would be on the ground, and you certainly don't want it reversed and coming out the side. Otherwise, your belt's going to end up having to go around your all thread, and you might not even have enough belt for that. So, that was one little thing that they neglected to mention that I kind of did some deductive reasoning on, and kind of looking at the pictures in the video, but it's really not easy to tell. The guy does not film with very good light. Sound like somebody else you know? <laughs> I'm trying. Um. Oh, another thing that was in the video that doesn't appear to be correct in this particular kit was on the linear bearings, they say put two on, two small ones on one side and one large one on the other. Well, this whole kit doesn't come with different sizes of linear bearings. They're all the exact same. So, I took that to be two small ones on one side, one small one on the other, and if you look at the way the uh, linear bearing mounts are on the... Uh, uh, whatever, the uh, carriage, I guess they call this the carriage or something like that, the Y carriage. Um, it would be one and two. There's no need for a second one to try to make up for the larger size uh, linear bearing that was supposed to come in the kit when that video was filmed. So, um, this is all built now to my liking. A little bit of improvisation with the uh, 
the uh, standard threaded all thread, but so be it. I don't think it's going to affect anything. Um, when you're building this, the of the shorter pieces or the medium length in this case with the all thread of what was provided in your kit, medium piece goes on top in the back. Back is also defined by the extensions of the all thread. Um, those were the 17 and a half inch length. Um, you just have all your basically excess going out the back so that your front looks nice and pretty, nothing really hanging over the edge with the, the nuts. So that is built. Um, I'm going to go look at the videos and see what's next. But uh, so far so good, I guess, or I'm back in, back in business, I guess is the proper term. Oh, before you do anything building these, check all your all thread. Uh, if you have to cut it, or even if uh, the company, like Folger Tech, cut mine for the most part. I did have to cut my improvised rod. Check all of your all threads. Make sure nuts thread on them easily. If they don't, and you don't have a way to re-thread them, sometimes you just can't, and I don't have a tap and die set. Um, sometimes you'll have to thread one nut all the way to the end, which will then be your front, and then you can kind of build it towards the, build it the way up from the back. Um, because if you've built everything and then realize you can't thread a nut on on the front, you got to take it all apart. So, um, just save yourself some hassle there. That's about all I got for now. Um, gonna move on to the next thing. Alrighty.